and welcome back to Mapac High School, where Carmel has just defeated Mapac by the score of 22 to 21. And joining me first is Frank Heitman, the outstanding quarterback for Carmel. Oh, Benjamin Macklin, I'm sorry. I thought I had Frank here. Did we get Frank? Uh, Frank's still talking to the other reporter. Boy, I'm sorry. Well, listen, we'll get uh, the other part in just one moment, but but I'll tell you, what a terrific game, Jim. You really had to concentrate down the stretch. You made some big catches when it counted. Well, uh, we just went into our two-minute drill, and we always practice at every practice, so we're pretty good at it, and uh, we got that. Thank you. All right, Jim McAloon on some terrific catches, and now Brian Madigan. And Brian, uh, you had some big shoes to fill tonight with uh, John Boyce going down with the injury. Yeah, we, well, we dedicated, I guess, the rest of the season to John. Um, he's, like, one of our best players, captain. So we just figured that we'd go out and win, like, the rest of our games for him. And uh, not only did you play outstanding in the secondary, two interceptions, what I was most impressed with was your foot. You can really put a boot in the ball. Yeah, well, sometimes it's on, sometimes it's off. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, thank God, it was on today. I was really impressed with the uh, Carmel rushing attack. Of course, we've heard a lot about both teams' passing ability. I think it was the key to the game that you were able to move the ball on the ground. Yeah, well, um, once, once, they, uh, once we got the lead, we started to try to run out the clock a little, you know, don't, their offense, high-powered offense that it is, we didn't want to give them as much time to score. So, uh, we basically, I mean, I guess, <laughs> um, we, lately our game, our rushing game has been really well, so we just decided to stick with it. Well, I'll tell you, you and uh, Jeff Oregon, terrific job, and I think that was the key to tonight's game. Well, we've been working on a rushing game all week, past three weeks. Against FDR, we just opened it up, and North Rockland, we did better than we thought we would, and today was outstanding. Our offensive line owed all to them. Well, keep it up. You're a great guy, and we'll thanks see you a little later on, all right? <laughs> all right, thanks okay, a lot. Okay, so long, Brian. Right. And now uh, the guy who puts on the big hits, Josh Mastrangelo. And, Josh, uh, we saw you put on a big special teams hit right on the game, right at the end of the game. Yeah, well, that was my first time on kickoff for a while there. I was off of it. Due to an injury, and Coach Mack didn't want to risk me on kickoff, and you know they had some good runbacks there, and uh, we had to get a guy out of there, and get some get some downfield wedge busters down there, because they were really doing a job on us, blocking and breaking it to the outside. So you know we went out there, we knew that uh, we had to hold them deep because they were passing long. You know they were passing on our reserve cornerback there. You know he did a great job, except for uh, two passes there. Our offense really kept us in the game today. You know, we owe a lot to them. They really, when it came down to it, they sucked it up. You know, they got the two points. You know, they got the touchdown without a, a minute remaining. You know, they kept us in the game today. This, we played very poorly on defense. Well, you know, Josh, I'll tell you, from our vantage point, it was difficult to see. But I'll tell you, you guys really stuffed the middle of that line. And Matt Pack had a very difficult time running the ball. And I got to believe, even though we weren't able to call it too often, I got to believe number 55 was in the middle of that. Congratulations on a great game. Thanks. All right, we'll see you a little later. Yeah. And now the guy who made the running tack move, and that's Tom Feliciato. And Tom, a terrific effort. I know centers don't get too much attention, but uh, you had a great game, and we know that. Thank you. Uh, well, all week, you know, everyone's been saying that all we can do is pass. There's no run uh, offense. Jeffrey did a great job. Brian did a great job. The whole offensive line, Frank Scafani, Joe Smith, Tom Kazakri, and Kevin Wands, and myself. We just came together. Uh, the first half, we did great, and then we slowed up. We turned it on in the fourth quarter, and I'll tell you, uh, it was a great victory. You're up against a real alley cat in Gerald Caporale. He's pretty good. Yeah, he was talking. He was, he's a good player. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, I, I'm, I'm a gamer. I wanted to get him, and I wanted to open up some holes for my running backs, which, which the whole offensive line did. But uh, he is a good nose guy. Well, as I said to Brian moments ago, I thought the running attack was the key, and it was spearheaded by you. Congratulations. We'll see you in a bowl game, thank okay? You. Yep, thank you. All right, Tom. And now, come on over here, Don. You can join me with this. Extraordinary player right here in Frank Heitman. Frank, I uh, thought you were standing by me earlier, but it was Jim McAloon. Congratulations on a great game. Thank you. And Don, maybe I'll let you ask the first question. On the uh, touchdown, the last touchdown that, that uh, brought you within a point, uh, a post flag pattern? Yes, post corner it's called. Uh, McAloon broke towards the uh, inside and made a cut, went right out to the outside, and he was wide open. Made, when made when you saw he was so open, were you? Did you hesitate at all to throw no. the ball? No, I didn't. I didn't hesitate at all. I knew it was going to him because if it, even if he wasn't that open, I probably would have lobbed it up for him to jump up and get it because he's a great jumper and he has great hands. And on the extra point, that took a lot of guts. Were you nervous? Yeah, I was nervous. We never, we never ran that play before. 
at all in practice, but Whitey Breidenbach uh, picked it up from a Florida State game. It's, it's trips right, and uh, two, two outside guys run posts, and uh, Nick runs more like an angle, and uh, uh, we never open. Yeah, he's wide open. We never had a we never had a name for the play, and it, I was kind of drawing it up on my hands. We never. Uh, it was crazy. You had a super game. You, you can be very, very proud because I, I thought you might be a little tight before the ball game. This is your first May Pack Carmel game. Yeah, I, I was I was tight first half. I was like oh, uh, under throwing passes, throwing behind, throwing behind the receivers. But uh, offensive line did a great job. We ran the ball. We didn't think we were going to run the ball as much as we did. We just, our offensive line did a great job. Counter traps worked great. Yes, they did. They, your line had a great game, but yes, you can be extremely proud of the game you had, too, pal. Exactly. I was just going to interject. I've never seen a guy with such poise at the end of the game. Are you always that cool? No. Terrific effort, really. Terrific. Well, you, should, you have an awful lot to be proud of, and that was a terrific effort down the stretch. And look, I know we're going to see in a bowl game continued success. Thanks a lot. All right, Frank Heidman. And we just want to add to our viewers that we tried to get uh, some of the MAPAC players uh, they declined to come on. Obviously, a very tough loss. They lost by one point. They are certainly going to be in a bowl game, maybe even against this same Carmel team. Well, Don, I want to thank you very much for uh, joining us, and we'll see you in a couple weeks against Arlington. It couldn't have been a greater pleasure, Compton. Thank you. All righty. And, uh, Angelo, we want to thank you very much. All right, and we'll see you maybe in a couple weeks against Arlington. It's been a pleasure. It was a good game and a good night to watch football. All right, and that uh, winds it up here from Mapac High School. We want to thank our entire crew back at the station, Glenn Bazonia, Tony Lentini, and Kevin Bailey here at the site. Paul Rocheford, director of the game tonight. Uh, Patty Hover and Gene Hallahan working our cameras for Donald Fries, Angelo Nataro. I'm Compton Spain. Once again, our final from Mapac High School, Carmel 22, Mapac 21.